But uh, especially right now, he's kind of checked out with – he's a Ten Hag hater as well. I mean, I don't see why – I think we would be if we were United fans. So Yeah, I and I wish I could, I could have a pulse on the Ten Hag situation, but – it's so difficult to predict what's going to happen to a guy who is who had his his owners actively looking to replace him before a, a, a cup final, like I. And then he stayed uh, because they won, right? And then he they felt like the obligation to him was to let him stay. It's like sort of like, well, now you've overstayed your welcome. We don't know what to do. So, uh, um, and maybe there just wasn't uh, the right manager that was available for that time. So, I think it'll come down to who would be interested to take the job and whether or not he would be there. I think if someone that they're actively con- considering is available, then I do think that he could be gone by the international break. But if there isn't anyone that they're necessarily that gung ho about, then I don't see a reason why he would leave other than the reasons that we've seen already. Right. I mean, cause if, if he hasn't left, it hasn't been sacked for the reasons that we've already seen, then I don't know what, what else they need to see. And I think like Ten Hag knows, so he keeps saying the word trophy as many times as possible. So whenever they're like, oh, what's this? A trophy? Like, Ooh, <laughs> shiny. So like he's always like bringing up the trophies because he knows that's the only reason he kept his job. More importantly, I, I don't even think that's why he kept his job. 